Today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can add fire to your videos in a super quick and easy way. It'll change your footage from looking like this to something a little more like this. Now just quick before we hop into this tutorial, this video is sponsored by my website. If you guys are looking for a quick and easy way to level up your visuals, our editing packs are the way to go. We get a wide variety of selection ranging from drag and drop 3D assets that take no render time whatsoever, a pack with over 250 plus unique LUTs that you guys can use to color your videos, crazy transistors that you guys can use on your projects to add that flow, and many, many, many more options. I highly recommend you guys go check out what's on there. It helps support me and the channel, but let's hop right into this. All right, so we got this clip pulled up from the Yeet Pop music video. We're going to get started by rotoscoping Yeet from the background, which is separating him from the background. Duplicate this clip here, double click on the top one, go up to our roto brush tool and start rotoscoping. If you guys don't know how to rotoscope, I have a bunch of tutorials on that, but we're just going to skip this step because most of you guys should know how to do this. All right, now once our boy Yeet is rotoscoped out just like this, we're going to move on to the next step, which is compositing the fire and all of the assets. I'm going to go up to our project here and I'm going to drag and drop all of my fire assets in here. I'm going to link the fire assets I use in the description below so you guys can download them for absolutely free. So now quick, before we actually add the fire assets in, we need to track our footage. As you can see, it zooms into him there. We're going to go to the bottom layer that's not rotoscoped and then go up to track and stabilize and track the camera. We're going to turn off our rotoscope layer here and then we're going to highlight all of the keyframes that are on Yeet himself. Right click, delete these ones, right click, delete. And boom, there are none on him now. So we're going to get started with the effect. We're going to go up and create a camera right here. Now, once that is created, we can start dragging our fire assets in here. We're just going to click on this area, open up our project, and I'm just going to bring all of them into here. We're going to put them in between our rotoscope layer. So it's going to look a little crazy right now, but don't worry. We're going to fix it. We're going to turn all of them off. We're going to start off with the atmosphere here first. I have this smoke atmosphere, which I'm going to use. I'm going to go and toggle the switches and modes and turn it to screen. And then I'm going to duplicate it once more and drag one one above him there so you have a little bit on top of his face and then more so behind them you have that smoke and if you think it's too much you guys can go and turn down the opacity by going down here going to transform and turning the opacity down but i think that's a good amount next we're going to move on to our windblown fire right here our first one that we have we're going to drag it above mr yeet there press s to open up scale and for this one i'm going to press r as well to rotate it and i think this one's gonna look cool somewhere in the background now keep in mind if we press play it's not tracked properly so if you guys do want to have a track properly, we're going to toggle the switching modes back on and make sure it's a 3D layer right here. And as you can see, when we do that, boom, it's going to be tracked to the background there. It may be a little bit off. So to fix that, what you can do is go down to your position and drag it backwards into the Z space and then put the scale a little bit more, the Z rotation. And then once again, it is going to look better below this atmosphere here and then below heat like that. So you have that one there on top of the cars. I'm just going to bring it down a little bit more. Once again, it's just messing around and getting it to your liking. Now to blend it in with the scene a bit more, what we're going to do is we're going to go up and put a drop shadow on them. We're going to bring the shadows down like so and mess with the opacity so you guys get to your liking. And then we're going to turn on a blur right now. I like the camera lens blur in After Effects. We're going to throw that on super quick. Turn that up to our liking just to match the blur that we have going on here. I think that looks good around nine there. And let's move on to our next fire asset here. We have this fire torch here. So once again, click on it, make it 3D. Same as the last one, we're going to go in and send it backwards in the Z space by going to the third one on position here. I think a 2000 was what we had the last one at. And then going on to our Y orientation, we can change it to our liking. Just going to change this to quarter. Then playing it through, you have something a little bit like that. It's not exactly tracked to it, but you guys can spend a little bit more time on the tracking yourself. And then I do recommend going back into the other one, just like so. Clicking and holding control then hitting control C. We can copy and paste the blur settings and the drop shadow on there. You could probably even change the blur to something a little bit less because it is closer to the camera and him. And then moving on to our next one here, let's turn on this high fire angle. This is the one I'm going to put on top of the car here. So once again, same as before, make it a 3D layer, open up the transform settings, send it backwards, and then playing with the position, set it on top of the car, go up to effect controls, paste the effect controls we had from before, turn down that blur to about something like six, and you can get a cool effect just like that. And now this is how we're going to add the bread and butter here. I'm actually going to go ahead back and fix this fire torch right here. It's not really tracked well. We're going to do a little trick that I like to call bake tracking. So we're going to keyframe position and scale at the beginning. We're going to go to the end. And since it is zooming in on him, we're going to have to make this fire bigger and then scale it up to where it was like that. And it's going to look something just like that. It looks like it's tracked, but it's actually not. Okay. And then actually going to the last one here, this is my favorite to use in this. We have the fire debris. 
This really blends the effect together. It's just the debris flying across the scene. If you guys want, you can throw it in front of Yeet to go across his face. I like to duplicate and make two, have one in front of him and then one below everything, even below the atmosphere here. And then the one below everything, I like to make small. And then the one above everything, I like to change it to a different part in the clip and then make it bigger and then add a camera lens blur to it. And boom, you guys get a really cool fire composition just like that. If you guys enjoyed this video and want to see more videos just like it, we have two banger tutorials linked right here. I highly recommend you guys click on one and watch it. I also recommend that you guys subscribe because we're going to be uploading every single day going into the next couple of months. Thank you guys. Peace.